Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello, welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. This is our match preview for the game versus USA. Big John O'Shea game, basically. This will be known as uh, yeah. his last ever game in an Irish jersey. Um, I suppose um, if you are watching it and you haven't got a ticket, do go out and buy a ticket. Pay tribute to John O. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the game, boys? Uh, how do you see them kind of coming at us? Do we know any of their players? Yeah, it's a young, young USA team. I mean, they're in transition, a bit like ourselves. Didn't get to the World Cup. Um, a couple of players supposed to look out for Bobby Wood. Um, he actually played against us the last time they came to Dublin, and he nearly scored. I think Shea Given, that was like his first game back after retiring, and he pulled it off like an unbelievable save. Bobby Wood is yeah. their second most capped player in the squad. With about five caps. No, 37. He's got 37 caps. Yeah. And... Why has it done that research? And yeah, George, yeah. George Way is son as well. George Way is son, plays yeah. PSG. PSG, yeah. Looks a good um, player. But like DeAndre Edlin is their most capped player in the squad. He's got 50. Like, yeah. And, and that, that shows how inexperienced the side is. They literally he's had, uh, have no caps. He's had a kind of decent season. Yeah, he's, he's had a decent season. He's a good, good solid player. He's unbelievable at the World, last World Cup. Last World Cup, yeah. yeah. So um, but, um, yeah. You know, I think you're right, they're in a master transition. And I think... They're almost in a way bigger transition than than we are because it was inconceivable Hello. that they wouldn't qualify. <laughs> Text you. Um, it was inconceivable that they wouldn't qualify for the World Cup, and all they had to do was go to Costa Rica. Yeah, no, they had to go to Trinidad and Tobago and not lose the game, and they lost. Don't you get and two caps for playing Trinidad? And yeah, Tobago? I think so. <laughs> didn't, didn't Panama? Yeah, Panama got in because, because they, they uh, didn't get in. Yeah. Mad, and, and like that's it. They there was it was completely inconceivable to them that they weren't going to qualify and it was almost like they were resting on the laurels and they sacked Klinsman and put in what's his name, Bruce Arena and then again they had a bit of a, an upturn and then it just went badly again so mm. you know they really are in not in dire straits that sense but they were in dire straits so now they've got a complete overhaul there was a massive election for the US Soccer Federation because you have to pay to play there which is just nonsense. So like, there's yeah, great so players. It's, it's, hard, it's hard for the for the kind of working class. Yeah, extreme, yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially in in, in inner cities. <coughs> but like, a lot of them know. would have like Mexican players, where you know American. Exactly. Yeah, so, Bobby um, Woods, Hawaiian, I think. Yeah, you know, like, and it, they're all kind of like, it, and this is it, it says a lot about American society rather than than U.S. soccer. But they're all kind of you know, of a, of a standing a middle class standing where they've been able to pay to play football where it's probably the best footballers in America the street footballers are street footballers yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's like in most things a lot of the good footballers come from very humble beginnings I yeah. suppose <laughs> um, and they're they're not getting through so they have this election and whatnot and they've been they've appointing a manager whose name I can't remember but like he's bringing a squad over that's yeah. and like they beat Bolivia 3-0 which is no easy feat I mean I know no. Bolivia are, are probably the weakest of the South American Weak countries <laughs> <laughs> Um, but um, but, but yeah. I mean, no, no arm for a team that has very few caps. So I think they're going to come at us in a way that they're going to be, because they all have no caps, they're all wanting to impress. They're all like, you know, this is kind of probably their first trip away with the senior team. They're coming to Europe, they're playing France after they play us. So I think they'll probably see that maybe as a bigger game for those players. So they're like, right, you know, we'll go out, perform well against Ireland, and we'll get on a place in the team. That's the, I think they're playing in Marseille against France. And, you know, they're that's probably the big one for them but they all want to impress um, for us it is very much John O'Shea's testimonial in many ways so yeah. it'll be you're, interesting you're to see you're kind of looking at it going like with the MLS kind of being on the rise and all the players that they're getting over I mean they, they are getting very big names over as laughing obviously just after going over there they had Schweinsteiger they, mm. had, they had David Villa Lampard per, um, Perlo yeah, over there yeah they, you know, they, they're getting big big names over there who are obviously passing on their knowledge to all the other American players that they're, they're yeah. playing with and like we said about the uh, League of Ireland uh, players and you know bigger players coming over here or whatever and the league growing it's it's surprised me that they didn't um, qualify it yeah. really did because even the last World Cup I mean they, they competed you know? they were excellent yeah. they there, was there was a big fuss about Donovan getting left out wasn't there yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he'd come back from retirement and stuff but they, you know, they I think he's off. come out of retirement again not for the US but he's come out of retirement again I think I was playing for some Mexican team yeah, some Mexican yeah. team but he's, he's uh, get him on yeah, get him on he <laughs> um, the last World Cup they it's went out was an extra time to Belgium a reek, yeah. I think, and yeah. like they were excellent. Oh, they, 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 was they, that the game where Howard had like the most amount of Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and they beat uh, they nearly beat Portugal, uh, um, brought Germany close. Did brought, they, no, did they, not Germany, I think they, I think that was no, too. No, I think they beat, I, don't know, I think they, they played Germany in the last World Cup. Did they? 
think they did, yeah. Because Germany beat Portugal. Germany hammered Portugal in the last World Cup. But they struggled against, was it not, uh, wasn't Nigeria or Algeria? Yeah, no, they weren't in. in was it, did they play Germany in 2010? Nah, well, either. No, yeah. either. If they did, I'm getting, they I'm getting mixed up. Yeah, I know they did no too, and Balak, I think, scored. So yeah, 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 But they, you know, they, yeah. they've always kind of been, for the last 20 or 25 years, have always been at World Cups and have always kind of. Overachieved, I'd decent, say. Yeah, decent team, the Chiefs. Decent sides, yeah. um, and I think they, they were playing a very old team in, in the last mm-hmm. qualifying groups they had, you know. Michael Bradley and, and, and Josie Alden are up front and Big Joe's um, he's class in FIFA though um, and <laughs> you have to I, I watched him a few times at Toronto games a couple of years ago uh, living over there he's, he's not the best player in the world no, they got you a big one so yeah he, he, he was like messy he makes up. everyone look great um, but yeah that, that was it you kind of look at them and, and they really did think that yeah we're going to we're going to qualify here no bother and they got themselves into into a bad bad position and then again they fought back and all they needed to do was not lose in Trinidad and Tobago you know they went to go there and lose against the Trinidad and Tobago side that I think had lost every single game in the it's second like qualifying round you know and then to go and lose there so it was this massive they had this huge identity crisis still I think they're in the middle of it um, I, even I was looking at tweets and stuff today and they were tweeting the new president of the USSF kind of saying you've been in power now for a hundred days where's this long term plan you said that you had to make it to make it and and realistically if you look at it the US should be a world power they've got the population they've got such an immigrant population from um, Latin America um, from all over the world that are coming from these countries where football isn't the natural game and but they're all not being scouted, not being picked up. You know, they, they have the potential to be a world, to be competing at World Cups, and they're not doing it. Yeah, but the problem is, is there? It's kind of like with ourselves. That like the GAA takes over. Yeah. And not the soccer. With them, they've got American football, basketball, basketball. baseball. But uh, but, if you think uh, about but f- f- football, not soccer, is. Yeah. Demolish. No, I wasn't. I wasn't having the. No, no, I, I agree. You're right. For, for, for the American public that are watching, we have got to a World Cup quarter final, and I think that's the furthest they've got as well. And if you look at our population, it's five million, and their population is like two hundred million. You kind of go yeah, something yeah, wrong there. there isn't um, it? Yeah, and, and you know, we, so it's essentially just the GA thing, but on a larger scale. Yeah, but they're, so they're women. Their women they're, are phenomenal. They're yeah, unbelievable. they've you know world champions at the moment. Um, I think they're three times world champions. So there is a there, there is potential. a problem within U.S. soccer. Um, so this squad that's coming over is maybe the beginning because they're already building. Yeah. You know they've got the Gold Cup um, in a couple of years, but it's essentially just that happens just every couple of years. Well, anyway. I think the key thing for us is the fact that you know the best player Pulis is just playing. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and he, he is, is on the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> he is a great player. Um, you know, he, he you know, and he's he's done the different thing that he hasn't gone to college and played in the US collegiate system. He's been at Borussia Dortmund. They have a few players now, I suppose Way is at PSG, there's a couple of others. So, you know, there is more American players getting out there. Um but well, at Arsenal just Sally Yeah. Like, uh, it's it's hard to tell though what, what the game's gonna be like because yeah. yes, are the Irish players gonna be like let's um we wanna play well and show her put ourselves in the frame for the games after the World Cup against you know Wales and, and Denmark, but also it's John O'Shea's testimonial essentially. For for me, I, I'd like I'd like to see us go out and give a good performance and you know cap off a great career because he I, like I remember when O'Shea first came in, I think it was all four or something like that, and I think he had a oh one I think like before the World Cup we didn't quite um yeah I think he made, think made the coach in one of the friendlies oh, okay, sorry, but yeah. he was he was brought in oh, for a game yeah. in yeah. in oh four I think it was or oh three. When we were trying to qualify for the Euros, I think it was against Switzerland, and then hack and yakking, and it's a bit of a throwback now. The younger viewers probably won't remember. Gives me shivers. But, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that name. <laughs> no, right. even, even Paul McShane was getting run, and he was brilliant back then when he first came in. That was that's hey, how yeah, long off the pitch. Yeah, yeah but that's but that's how long mm. back we're going. So O'Shea came in as this inexperienced inexperienced player playing for Manchester United, and he came in and done really well. And you kind of look at. You know his achievements in the game, or yeah. uh, like you Last look, you look at our, 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 our squad. Uh, how many of them have won even trophies? Yeah, like he he's a winner. Effectively, we are losing 
a massive, massive player for the dressing room as yeah. well. Yeah. I'd argue he's the most versatile Irish player we ever had. He could play anywhere. And you could, you could play him anywhere, and he'd do that job for you 100%. He could do it and probably be better than the player that would normally play there. And that's why I say to Man United for so long, because Absolutely. Ferguson was like, why would I get rid of this player that is literally... An but he's everyman. solid. Yeah. Like, I could play him up front and he'd probably score. And he did score. He scored that goal against at Highbury Arsenal, against Arsenal. Yeah, chip. Like, that's a phenomenal goal. And do you think, like, that's an Irish player who scored that? Mm. He yeah. always looks so happy as well, doesn't yeah. he? Just, he's just like, I'm just a footballer, I'm delighted. But he is a nice guy. I've met him a few times. He is a nice guy. Mm. Um, but just in terms of the, of the public and, and the crowd, you know, Ireland and America have this, you know, this kind of close thing and, you know, they all, everyone's there, Everyone, their granddad and whatever's <laughs> Irish or their, their great uncle's cousin is Irish. <laughs> but there's that little bit of banter and stuff like that. But they love it, they love us, they celebrate Paddy's Day wildly and stuff like that. There'll be all that stuff. I, I think, I don't think there'll be any crowd trouble. I think it'll all be a great oh, laugh. Uh, everyone, everyone. Sure, the last time they were sitting amongst us, and it was like, yeah, yeah. Well, it is a friendly as well. We, yeah. we don't tend to, but I just think there'll be a really happy atmosphere, no, no matter what the result. And yeah. I just hope there's lots of singing, chanting, and it's not a real quiet dead game. And you know, O'Shea can go out, maybe do a lap of honor at the end. And, yeah. And everyone kind of gets a good day out. A couple of drinks if you're into that. <laughs> <laughs> nah. to, not to exist. Yeah. I know we just clever, but yeah, no, he is. I really <laughs> hope John O'Shea gets a great send off because I think he's been one of the most underappreciated Irish players ever. So what you're saying was you want to put him top one top in from thirty years? Yeah. Oh, man, get a penalty. I'd like to see him take it. Yeah, so would I. Has he? Oh, he scored. For, I was going to say he's ever scored for Ireland. Germany, he scored Germany, Germany away, and I was, I was thinking about other moments of John O'Shea's. He nearly scored the winner. It's funny we're talking this at the Stade de France. Yeah, against the. Uh, he literally just. You remember like, the one in ish? Two thousand three, ish. Two thousand five. Oh yeah, and he like came in the back post. So this is trap, is that right? No, no um, Blair. 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 It was a World Cup yeah. qualifiers, yeah. Is it the Neil Lindsay dance? Yeah, the Neil Lindsay dance was retired at the that, time, and then that, he came back for the top, no top in at, in the first leg. No, that was that was the was home game. Henry, or no. Yeah, it was the second leg of that. Wasn't no, it? we didn't play. It was, it was the no. It was the two thousand six two thousand six World Cup qualifiers, and we went. It was there. like the second game. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. a video of the Irish fans <laughs> singing along to La Marseillaise. I think it was one of the first videos I ever watched on YouTube. That's how long Jesus. ago it is, and it's his ball comes in, and he's the back post completely unmarked. And he hits I don't it inside foot. Yeah. No, I think he does see it, but he it, it, it he just it curls at the wrong second. If it curled the second before, it goes in. And Ireland won the game. It was one of the best Irish way performances ever, ever. And we came across and I came away with just a point. But mm. you have to look at John O'Shea if he'd scored that. Like you know, obviously he's a legend. He scored the goal of Germany, which was like you know one of the best moments. You think back to there was key moments in that qualifying campaign. And obviously that was one of them. I mean, then obviously Long's goal against yeah. against Germany as well, and these kind of games, you know, keeping it so tight as well. <laughs> obviously got us there, you know. But as you say, it's it's one of those things. He he was very much underappreciated, yeah. a bit like, and dare I say, Glenn Whelan was as well. Um, I, I did post up that goal the other day. Yeah, unbelievable. Goal. Like, you forget these moments well, I, happened. I, 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 I think John O'Shea was unappreciated because he wasn't played in one particular position. He was kind of played everywhere. So he was never really, for Ireland I suppose a bit different, but for Man United he was always, he was never your start, he was never your he first started, choice anywhere. He started off left back when Hart was having he a bit of a dodgy time. Yeah, and then he, <laughs> then he moved into centre mid. Yeah. yeah. Then he kind of played a couple of games at the wing. And then he was playing right back for Trapattoni and then he finally came into centre half. And then he played Holden. He actually played Holden in the field for Sunderland in the Premier League last season for yeah. about three games. Did he not? Which was a disaster, but, <laughs> but he was capable of it. 2010 or 11, was he not the right back? Uh, and then he played against Bas uh, in the final? For yes, he did. United. Against, against Barca. Ferguson said he was going to play him. Yeah. Oh, season. that's a good question, actually. You'd think he did. Yeah, but that's he, he, played, he, he played in yeah, three so Champions League finals. He, won, he was the last Irish player to win the Champions mm -hmm. League. He was the, probably the last Irish player to win the Premier League as well. Um, yeah, um, Stephen Ireland didn't win it. No. Um, yeah, I think oh, he's sure, the last yeah. Irish player to win the Premier League. You sure, know, he really... No, 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 he's gone. I, I would say he's 
I'd say what he's fourth or fifth maybe in the caps list. He, there is an argument to be made that he's one of our great ever footballers, and Dem- think, domestically and internationally. Yeah, and like he's gone to two finals. Like not many Irish players have gone to two finals. Three yeah. and he. Barely. Three Champions League finals. No, no, no. no. About, yeah, like uh, Euro like international. Oh, sorry. And yeah, he, sorry, he sorry, prob- sorry. He probably would have gone to the two thousand and two World Cup if um, if you had a bit more game time. Yeah. Because I think I think probably Andy O'Brien probably yeah. got his spot because he I think he just broke into the United side the season before we qualified, and then he had maybe two three caps before the. I World remember Cup. watching his debut actually on soccer. What was it? Premier League soccer Saturday or something that they had on RTE. Yeah, it was like the their version and of the day. I am convinced that he was on the time Bertie Hearn was one of the pundits. It was his debut. <laughs> I would think, because that's just how weird this country is. Good times. That Bertie Hearn was one of the pundits, and I think it was John Shea's debut, and he got booked. It's Croatia? No, it was his, 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 he played for Man United. Oh, Man United Man debut. Man. Yeah, and I think he got booked or something, and they had the, they literally following around, and then Roy Keane was going up, like, fighting his corner or something, like, all the highlights of the United game, even though I think United won, like, 3-0, were just of John O'Shea, and they cut back to Bertie Hearn just, being just, like, oh, he's a night player. <laughs> <laughs> just remember some of the TV, we'll move on then, but some of the TV3 coverage at the time, Andy, I remember you come on in some random United Champions League game, you did a couple of okay, you know, standard passes back yeah. and forth, but all of a sudden, it was this big Irish player all of a sudden doing well in the Champions League. Look yeah. at this amazing. Yeah. doing that, do you look at Masses in at Liverpool, and yeah. like, yeah. Big song and dance. He was only in the squad. Yeah, he didn't even yeah. play. Yeah, but, but that's what we always we do crave these that things. So much, don't we? The same with the Declan Royce being the superstar and stuff like that. I think he is good. I don't think we should be putting any sort of um, kind of labels on his name. I think he should just be left to be Declan yeah. Royce. Let him do his own things. Don't 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 start going overboard with the. Um, Paul yeah. McGrath comparisons. Yeah, yeah but just, just all that type of stuff. Like he, he's a, he's a very good player, but he, like let him make his, let him gradually make his move up the ladder, the Premier League, and then that, that shows where we are. Yeah, not how far we've fallen because I don't think it's as, as simple as that. I think the the market of footballers becomes so saturated because the world has become a closer place. But it shows that even when we get a player into a squad on the bench in Champions League game, it's like this is amazing, and you kind of say, well, you know. John O'Shea won the fucking thing. Like he played in three finals. Like that's how good he was. And I think that's the that's the benchmark. And it really shows how incredible yeah, football that's what he was. That's, that's what I mean. Uh, and I totally agree with you. Well, what I mean is you're looking at, you know, he's gone and, and done this in ten years' time. When we look back at the players that are in the squad now and go, how many of them have done that? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and maybe it's, you know, it, I don't really particularly care if all of the players played in the Champions League final and or won or didn't play in the Champions League it doesn't really matter to me it yeah. matters how, what matters to me is how well they do for Ireland but obviously it all works within if they're playing in the Champions League they're not playing the higher standard so mm. but, it makes know, other teams when we're playing them other countries when we're playing them kind of say oh there's O'Shea yeah exactly there's there's the same way you look at Bale yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Wales. They, they, um, they don't yeah. think anyone else feels anybody in their squad everyone else is quite average and then you look, oh shit, here's Gareth Bale. But I mean, as, you know, if you play, to play for Ireland for 17 years and never really be truly, truly appreciated because, I mean, like, he played for Ireland for probably a bit longer than Robbie Keane, maybe. And, you know, we Robbie Keane is, obviously Robbie Keane was our highest goal scorer and everything, but, you know, was seen as the messiah and, you know, John O'Shea was as reliable. As ne- the other end. Yeah, never really, never, I can't remember, remember making a mistake for Ireland. Yeah, if only go back and should with um, done. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. should have happened earlier. Yeah. You know? I mean, St. Ledger was a, Saint a great uh, he, kind he of cult hero. He was like McLean who stepped it up for Ireland. I think the game would be... You're really excited about it. I Thank you very it. much. <laughs> <laughs> I think the game is just, you know, just, I don't know what to, I don't know why. I just hope it's not slow-paced and boring. I Like, I think the US will come at us, a very young, fearless... Uh, team out to prove themselves. And I just very similar to the last time we played them. Yeah, it is because I mean similar. They again the likes of Bobby Wood, who was just coming into the the team. Um, they your man Beckerman with the kind of crazy dreads. Yeah, he had a decent. Uh, Kyle Beckerman. Did he have a decent World Cup? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. did. Yeah, now, he's they were coming off the back of a World Cup, now, yeah. and we had just lost one 0 at Celtic Park. Yeah, and it was a freezing, freezing cold night in November. 
But it was a great game. It was yeah. open. We think we beat them 4 1. Yeah, David McGoldrick was had a great unbelievable. Game. Robbie Brady uh, played his first game left back. Was yeah, really good. long and a really good game, actually, as well. Brady's got a great kick. Him. You know, and you kind of look and go, you know, we, that was a really good game. And they had, the goalkeeper, actually, their goalkeeper was going to be Bill Hamid. Yeah, um, yeah. He, it was his, I think it was his debut. Um, he was a bit dodgy. Ireland. But yeah, it was a really open game, really yeah. great game. I, I'd expect maybe something similar because they're definitely not going to sit back and just be like, let's pass the ball amongst mm. ourselves here. We need to win. Like, if, if we lose, that's. Is that four losses? On, no, three losses on the trot. Like, that's. Four. Maybe four yeah, yeah. I'm not really looking at the, uh, the friendly games as it is. Mm. We, we, we did say we wouldn't concentrate on. Uh, I know we, me and you did. Mm. But we did say we wouldn't concentrate on the negatives, kind of in terms of results. It was more a chance of giving these young guys time. But. Uh, but we I, didn't I, really do that. I agree with you <laughs> as well, but. They, the results, you know, if they lose this game, they won't get to me back up together until September, September and they're playing Wales in, in a competitive yeah, morale, game. Morale will be low. Morale will be low. I think we need a bit of, we need a perform whatever the result, I think we need a decent performance. Absolutely. We need to get some life back on the team. Like, mm. I don't know many Show people. some sol solidarity. Yeah, Is get some, right? get a spark back, get some interest back. Because I've talked to a couple of people in work now, they were like, Oh, you watched the game last night. What? Ireland were playing last night. Yeah. yeah. It's just completely gone under the radar. We just need to get yeah. people talking about. And even on football. social media, like we, you we spoke about this. Don't care. And yeah. Kind of we spoke about this before the Turkey game. We're kind of gone. Just. It went from this massive high of the the day of before and the day of the second leg against Denmark. The whole place was. Was it? it was all anyone was talking about, and then it just went boom, straight down. Cliff, yeah. And then even the turkey game, everyone was like, "We're playing turkey at like it was like a Friday." I think like four. I think the other thing is the manner in which we lost. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the manner, in which, yeah, like, yeah, the manner in which we lost against yeah, Denmark is, it was a, a real, big factor too. It was such a punch in the gut yeah. to the entire country because they were so close to a World Cup, and we come from like the Euros. It was like the, everyone just fell straight back in love with the football team again because it was a, kind of a false dawn in 2012 and you know with Roy Keane and Martin O'Neill now and it was like everyone was in love with them the Euros were fantastic and a great win against Italy built up got to the playoffs for one game of the World Cup and then just taken away you know do you think do you think kind of O'Neill's fallen in for some more warranted criticism or do you think he, he, he's warranted I, I think we are ca I don't think we're capable of being Barcelona but I think we are capable of playing the ball on the ground as yeah. is any professional footballer well, he did and come I out think hmm? sorry, no, no, no 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 sorry. he did come out and say you know we, we weren't like when we did have the ball we did, we weren't good with it so it seems like he had, he had said to them you know get the ball yeah, play possibly now, now the one thing O'Neill has done that Trapattoni never did they passed it around the back four and they I suppose bide a bit of time there where Trapattoni was literally Don't turning it hit, turning mm -hmm. hit turn and hit but is there now a point I was thinking uh, yesterday before the game like mm. it, it, you know I know he's signing a deal and whatnot, but kind of like surely at some point we have to get in a manager that goes right I'm not going to play the same style again mm. you know you're right O'Neill's style isn't exactly like Trapattoni's which wasn't it's, exactly it's, like it's, Staunton's it's similar, oh. which, but it's, it's, it's all been derivative of the same <laughs> thing except maybe a couple of years when Brian Kerr was there but for the most part, it's been derivative of the same thing but, yeah. since Charlton. But the thing is, like, we don't have to be Barcelona or whatever, no. we're tippy tappy. You can play a long direct ball and be effective with it. We're not even good at playing the long ball. Yeah, it's like Leicester, ball. like, like, exactly. like we said earlier. Example, I mean, a limited squad yeah, who yeah. got the most out of their ability by playing direct or whatever. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like, but they were blessed with players, to be fair. That's very true. They they were, but you could, not, stuff, not, but not, not compare the two of them, but you could see Long playing that Vardy role mm -hmm. to, you know, that long ball over the counter-attack and everyone mm -hmm. just squeeze up and all that. We're not even effective on the... We're, we're not... I think our biggest problem is we're not balanced. I think he's playing, you know, Walters on the wing. Um, you know, he's playing O'Dowd at centre mid. Mm. Uh, he's playing players out of position. You need... I mean, he's I'm always... always yeah. doing it too. Yeah. He's always yeah. doing it. You look yeah. at Brady... McLean as well to add to those yeah. two. Hendrick was playing on the wing for yeah. a couple of years, like that kind of stuff. I think until we have a balance, you can't play a balanced or kind of constructive Are you, game. You talking about player putting players Literally in their positions. Players in their positions. Oh, that's amazing. That's an alien concept. <laughs> but it is. It's gotten to that. It's gotten to that, that stage. Right, but that, that's it's it. that at stage. some point, a manager has to come in, and we always say, "Oh, we're we're you know we're quite tight at the back," and we are in general tight at the back, mm. minus that Denmark second leg game, but. You, you know, with the best defence in, I think, all of Europe, actually, or second best defence in all of Europe in the qualifying campaign, and 
But the reason that we're being so like reliant and kind of go, oh yeah, we're we're really good at the back is because for the last thirty years, all of our football, bar a couple of years Brian Carey was there, has been based on not conceding, and no manager has come in and gone, well, you know, maybe we should try and play some sort of expansive football, and it might. What about Mick McCarthy? It was all still based on on a solid back bank of like back maybe six maybe. No, yeah, they played a bit more attacking football, but. You know, McCarthy's football to me always was keep it solid, keep it solid, and then bring on the big man at the end. Yeah, kick it, kick it harder. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I tell no play that, that man. Look at the players we have back then. We, we did uh, have, have very, very good players. <laughs> Roy oh, and we had Roy Keane, but that was the thing. Was there to drop everything up? Finnan, yeah, Duff Hart, um, Duff and Keane were in their prime then as well. Yeah, yeah. Our, the biggest thing. No, let's not go yeah. back there. <laughs> no, but the, the, yeah. the yeah. point it's is, like, we had. No, I'm just saying. We had that was our great team because we had Roy Keane who was solid, but he was also quite defensive. You know, he could attack, but he was quite defensive. And then they had. They were lucky in ways that they had a really good goal scorer in Robbie Keane and they had a really good winger in Damien Duff. We're and both of those players, players have come through Brian yeah. Kerr's youth system. And we're, given yeah. Yeah, yeah, and given a great goalkeeper. But we're, it's we're all falling, based on where we're falling down at the moment which you don't do. is, yeah. is balance and then not having enough potency in the in the final third. Like McLean isn't gonna give you that. Walters isn't gonna give you that if they're both on the wing. Um O'Dowda could, but Maybe. he's not you know, he's not the same level as Say wingers of the past. Does I think Manu Judge. Know? I think Judge could give you that, but he's thirty. You know. Yeah. Um, could Martin, um, should Martin only be now going out and kind of saying, right, let's just go and get, let's try and get a lot of grand and real players in. Not a load, but. And, and it's not a load, there. but maybe. Is he not trying that though? I don't. Th- is, I don't think I he's think having think much joy. Liam much Kelly, joy. Callum Robinson. Yeah. yeah, I think like Robinson is. I think Bamford because Bamford's one of those strikers who can who can drop deep and who can actually get on the ball. Um, and I think you need that in international football. You need a centre forward who can actually uh, play with the ball of feet, which Long can't do, which Walters I, can't do. I would say a little bit. We've been a bit kind of downbeat here as well. We have. We seem to have a couple of great youth teams coming through. Unbelievable. Youth so teams. it's yeah. not all. I was actually half yeah, thinking that in my mind when you mentioned Troy Parrott. Then I was thinking of Declan Rice. Yeah. Then I was thinking either, but it's it's going to depend on the clubs they are at. I think Eda's at Norwich, he could get game time there. Parrot is at Spurs, there's no guarantee he's going to get game time. But if he keeps yeah. going at the rate he's going. Mass is at Liverpool, there, yeah. is, there is some hope. And the good thing about Parrot is. Yeah, likes, well, no, yeah. Um, but the, the, the likelihood of get, them getting into the squad mm. in the next yes. two years. I think in the short term. Not like but Potticino, like he's held on to a lot of players at Spurs for a long time. Harry Winks and stuff. Yeah, like a lot of Spurs players don't leave the academy until they're 23, 24. Like it's it's bizarre almost, you know. Yeah, Winks signing you five years ago yeah, there. Yeah. So, but they're, they are. Tom Carroll. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was the other lad. Um, Winks, Carroll, uh, Pritchard. Walkers, Walker, yeah. Peter, Walkers, Walker, Peters, the guy you replaced. Kyle, Kyle Walker, Walker Peters, yeah. <laughs> um, who replaced Kyle Walker. Vickers. Um, but they, Vickers, you know, they yeah. do have a fair few players coming through and, and in the short they term, youth. yeah, and in the short term, it is not looking fantastic because you're. Well, at the work. same time, really, look, we have a lot of injuries. We have players playing uh, like who are still to come back too. Yeah, um, it's not all doom and gloom, but you know, we don't know our best eleven. That's it, and that's and we'll, we'll obviously touch on the starting eleven show. We'll, we'll get on to that, but just in terms of uh, we, we really don't know our best 11 we don't know our best even formation right now but the thing is as you're saying we are blessed with full backs we have a good selection of centre backs we have a good selection of centre mids we just don't have goal scorers yeah or wingers well we were saying last night that how do we qualify well, like, the wing backs is, is kind yeah. of that how, how do we qualify for the World Cup Robbie Brady could be the, the four of us were with the chance of going like <laughs> we were literally. I said, "Have we qualified for the World Cup?" The four of us were in with the chance of going in the squad because, like, depleted. we are kind of depleted in in I many areas. McCarthy's a long term injury. Brady's got a long term uh, injury. McCarthy's uh, due back for pre season. Due back for pre season. Yeah, that's you know. But look, Hendrick seems to have a knock. Can't play. Um, I wouldn't trust Walters to, to last the World Cup. Yeah, but the only up, difference yeah. is things might have been taken differently in, in, into consideration had we had qualified to. Yeah, that, that, that is that's true. It is quite hot theory as well. Though. Brady might be okay. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But you, you know, you just have to. I, I, 
we would have been going and kind of, I think we would have been caught out. I think it would have been a lot like 2012. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. But um, in terms of, uh, just to kind of wrap it up, in terms of uh, predictions, is that with you, John, you're going to work your way across? Oh, jeez. Almost impossible game to predict because we just yeah. don't know what's going to come from Ireland. Um, you'd hope that there's going to be goals. 2-2 uh, draw. I'm going to go 3-1. Ireland. Don't know where the goals are going to come from. Might score them myself, but yeah, <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Or three one Ireland. I was thinking three one. <laughs> 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 I it's it's got two all written all uh, written all over it, but yeah, three one. Why not? No, I was thinking three one. Uh, I'm gonna if Shea Long starts, I'm gonna go for him to break his duck for Ireland. And if not, I think John O'Shea. Yeah, he tends to be clean playing a centre forward, you know. Yeah. Himself and John O'Shea up front. Yeah, solid partnership, little and large. Uh, it'd be great to see O'Shea, 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 O'Shea get his uh, goal on his oh, last game, a header from the corner or something like that. Yeah, nice. dunk. Yeah, but uh, yeah, look, that's been our match preview. Um, you know, if you're if you haven't got a ticket for the game, try to get down and get them. To, they're not going for that much, and you know, pay tribute to a great servant for the national team. I mean, as we were saying earlier on, there's not many players to have achieved what he's achieved. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do and give this video a like if you've liked it. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. And uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching Irish Football Fan TV.